connecting to a PostgreSQL data source with BERT. BERT is the business intelligence reporting tool, open source software similar to Crystal Reports, that we're going to be using throughout the series of Micronuggets. So basically what we're going to do is download a couple drivers, install them, and then create the data connection within the BERT tool. All right, so the first thing we want to do is go get the ODBC driver. And to do that, hop, open up your, uh, your Google, type in ODBC Postgres SQL driver. And we'll just grab this link here from the Postgres web, website. Scroll down to the bottom. And we'll grab the, uh, the latest file here. Download that baby. While we're waiting for that, go over here to another Google web browser, another uh, Google Chrome, Google search, tongue tie for crying out loud. And this time we're going to download the JDBC Postgres SQL driver. So I type that in and again from the Postgres SQL org site, I'm going to click on download. And this time I'm going to grab the JDBC force Postgres SQL driver version 9.1. As of uh, right now, uh, May 2012, this is the latest version. So I'm going to grab that one too keep that and uh, both files are downloading now okay so this one looks like it finished I'm gonna open that baby up and eh, actually let's show it in the folder bring that into the recording screen here and I'm gonna see what's in it looks like we got a Windows installer package I'm gonna execute that run it go through this uh, ODBC setup wizard accept the license agreement hit next uh, I don't need no stinking documentation. Hit next, hit install. All right, now we have the ODBC driver. We're gonna need that to connect our windows to the data source. Okay, done with that. Now the other thing we were downloading was this uh, Postgres SQL jar file. Whoops, I clicked on it, I meant to do open in folder, show in folder. All right, so we're gonna grab this uh, Postgres SQL jar file and we're going to move it over to, and if you watch the micro nugget on installing the BERT reporting tool, you saw that I put it into program files and Eclipse. And remember, Eclipse is the uh, design environment for all kinds of different uh, Java development, but it's where the BERT reporting tool lives. So we're going to grab that and drop it right into that folder. And you notice that I already have it there because I tried to do this earlier and I had a problem and I had to re-record. So we have our Java file there. We have our ODBC connector. Now let's go get this, uh, let's get this set up. All right, I just shifted my uh, recording screen so that you could see my start menu. And what I'm gonna do now is show you how to get the administrative tools on your start button in Windows 7 if they're not there. So you see here, I have administrative tools and we're gonna go over here and open up uh, data sources and manage our ODBC connector. But if you don't happen to have that, here's how you get it. Right click on your taskbar, drag up to properties, and we're gonna click on start menu and then customize. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and it says system administrative tools. You're gonna display on either all or all and start menu. Bada bing, bada boom, betty boop. Then you'll have administrative tools. Okay, so again, we opened up data sources, the ODBC connector management tool, and we're gonna create a system-wide DSN, DSN standing for data source name. So we're gonna add a data source, and when I click add, I should see that ODBC connector, but guess what, I don't. So I'm gonna cancel out of this, and hit pause and try to figure out what's wrong. All right, I'm back. I solved that little problem. I uh, downloaded the 32-bit version of the driver, as you can see here, and my Windows is 64-bit, so I downloaded this one, and now we're cooking with Crisco. So I go over here and click on that Start button for Windows 7, drag over to Administrative Tools, and up to Data Sources, the ODBC uh, Data Source Administrator, and we're going to create a system data source name, DSN. So I click Add, and now you can see I have my Postgres SQL drivers. I'm gonna select the uh, Unicode driver. I'm in uh, Oregon in the United States, and we uh, are using the Unicode version of the driver here. So 
you can name it whatever you want to name it, describe it however you want to describe it. Uh, you type in the name of the database, the server, in my case, it's a internal address, 172.24.31.211. Uh, the default port is 54.32 for a PostgreSQL connection, and I'm just gonna leave it like that. And for our test database here, we're logging in as Apache, and I'm gonna put in my password that I'm not gonna tell anybody what it is. I uh, click test, connection successful. Now we have a system DSN. Okay, so we have to have the ODBC connector, and then I'll show you in a second how to do the JDBC connector. Okay, now I'm back here in Eclipse, our design environment, and I have uh, the project opened up that I created in a different uh, micro nugget, the test report project. And to create this data source, first thing I'm gonna do is just go create a new report. So I'm gonna do file, new, report. And we'll just make it uh, whatever the name it wants to have, so boom. Okay, now with any report that you're, that you're gonna run, design, create, run, you're gonna need to have data. So we're gonna go over here to data sources. We right click it, we hit new data source. And this is where we're gonna put in our JDBC PostgreSQL data source. So I'm just gonna call it uh, PostgreSQL, and I hit next. Uh, it is first, sorry. I'm gonna select JDBC data source first, then hit next. And the driver now, this is where we install the driver that we downloaded for uh, Postgres, that's the JDBC. So hit manage drivers. I hit add, I go over here to the hard drive where I dropped it, I put it into this Eclipse folder, this is it right here, I open it up, and bingo. So now when I click on driver class, I have this PostgreSQL driver that I just added. So I select it, and now I'm gonna do the database URL. Okay, so the database URL is different for uh, the different databases that you're gonna be connecting to. So I'm gonna pull up um, what the URL is. One second, a little disorganized. The database URL format is JDBC colon PostgreSQL colon forward slash forward slash your uh, DNS name or IP address forward slash your database name. All right, I'm gonna pause and put that info in. Okay, I'm back here in Eclipse and I typed in the database URL and I typed in the uh, username and password, same one I used for the ODBC connection. And then I hit test connection, connection successful. So I hit finish and now I have a data source. All right, so in this micro nugget, we covered how to connect to a PostgreSQL database with BERT. So basically we downloaded a couple of files, ODBC and JDBC drivers. We enabled the administrative tools. We created that ODBC DSN in Windows. We added the JDBC driver in BERT, and then we created that data source. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.